Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Master Topic. I am your teacher, Carl, and I am guiding you all through the ways of Topic 1, right? Is everybody doing well? Not exhausted yet? All right, we're almost halfway through the reading section. Don't give up, right? Okay, let's do this. All right, today we're going to be learning about the reading part, type number six. We've learned so much already. Uh, let's just do a little bit more. Uh, it's going to be questions number 57 to 58. All right, so we're going a little bit back in the order here. All right, so let's see what we got here. All right, kanatara. All right, those of you, when you learned hangul, I'm sure you all learned it in kanatara mabasa jatakatapa, right? So that's kind of like Korean ABC. So you see kanadara amat, or a lot, excuse me. All right, and so we have one, two, three, four. All right, so we can see it's going to have something to do with maybe putting sentences in order, right? We're going to have two of these questions and the difficulty. We're going up really high now, all right? This is going to be a more difficult one because you have to kind of use your skills to put these sentences in order. Right? So it's a little bit more difficult. And so what are we going to have to study if we want to do this well? Well, we're going to be studying conjunctions, right? Because conjunctions are what link sentences together. And so if you know those well, then it'll, it will be a little bit easier to put these sentences in order. And also time expressions, all right? And so we're going to be learning time flow again, okay? Let's break it down. So what are the questions asking here? 다음을 순서에 맞게 배열한 것을 고르십시오. All right? 순서에 맞게 배열. All right, 배열, that's a little bit of a difficult word, right? To 배열하다 means to put things in an order or put things like in a line on display. 배열하다, right? So 순서에 맞게, in the correct 맞게 order, 순서, right? And so this is what your answer box is going to look like. We have one, two, three, four, and they're all going to have a different order that the sentences could go in. But we get a tip right off the bat. Two of them are going to start with the same thing, and the other two are also going to start out with the same. All right, so there's only going to be two different options for the first sentence there. All right, so in this case, it would be either ka or na, right? So when you're going through, you want to do it quickly, right? So you're going to know right away which sentences am I going to read first, all right? And so we have three different tips to help you put the sentences in order today, all right? So first, you're going to be looking for a broad topic going into a specific topic, all right? Or to put it in other words, we're going to have our topic, our focus, and then more specific examples to support that, right? And then after that, we're going to be looking for the flow of time, right? Past, present, future. All right, so we might have something like yennarenen, uh, right? Or chonenen, right? Before, and then later we would have chigumen, right? Or apurunen, things like that. All right, so they're going to be kind of giving you different senses of time. And then our last one, we're going to be looking for conjunctions. Right? And also this and that. I, k, jo. Right? And why do we say this and that? Well, if we have something like i, yeginen, right? This, what this means, things like that, we know that there's going to be something that they are referring to. So if it starts with that, we know that that cannot be the first sentence. All right, why don't you guys try solving a few and then I'll get back to you. All right, you guys, how was it? Right? Getting a little bit more difficult now, right? Yeah, because you really kind of have to test your understanding of Korea now, how it all flows together. All right, so let's take a quick look at our first question. All right, what, are, what did I say that we're going to look for first? Right, we're going to look for the first options, right? So here it's going to be ka or na, right? So right away, we know we're not going to need to look at ta or la right away. Ta or da, excuse me. All right, so... 가, 고기를 너무 많이 먹는 것은 건강에 좋지 않습니다. 나, 그러나 아이들은 고기를 안 먹고 채소만 먹으면 안 됩니다. All right, so let's look here. Conjunction. Where do we have a conjunction? Right? 그러나, right? But, right? 그러나 is kind of like a fancy way to say but. So, 
We know that it's not going to be na. Why? You can't start an idea with but, right? It's not going to be the first sentence. So we know that it's going to be ka. All right, and another way to tell, 고기를 너무 많이 먹는 것은 건강에 좋지 않습니다. Right? So just by looking at it, you can kind of tell it's a broad topic, right? It's giving an idea and it's just asking for different supporting ideas behind that, right? So we know that it's going to be ka. All right, so we've got it down to either one or two. So now we're going to be looking at da and da because those are our next two options, right? So bad for your health, so people don't eat meat, right? So bad for your health. 건강에 좋지 않습니다, right? You can't have too much meat. You need to eat your vegetables, kids, right? <laughs> All right, and so let's look at da. 그래서 요즘은 고기를 먹지 않는 사람들이 많습니다. All right, so right away we can kind of tell, oh, these two kind of go together, right? Because it's bad for your health, so people don't eat it, right? But if you want to just double check, let's look at ta. 자라나는 아이들은 영양이 골고루 필요하기 때문입니다, right? 필요하기 때문입니다. All right, so this is another way, one where we're going to look for what is the reason, right? What is this trying to explain? Do these two have anything to do with each other? Not really, right? These two go together, right? So we know that our order is going to be ka, ra, na, da. All right? All right, so at first it's a little bit difficult, but once you just kind of stop, take a breath, break it down, then it gets a little bit easier, right? All right, why don't you try doing that with our next question? All right, how was number two? A little bit easier, maybe? Now that we're kind of getting a little bit of practice in solving these questions. Hmm? All right, let's go in together. First, what are we going to look for? Ta and da. All right, so these are going to be our first sentences. So at first, we can just ignore the ones at the top. All right, so let's look at ta and da. Let's look at ta first. Tuki. Oh, right away we found something that we know is not going to be ta. All right, what does tuki mean? Especially, right? So we're going to call that an emphatic adverb. And it can't be the first word in the paragraph because it also requires something to have come before it, right? So by just looking at one word, we've already eliminated two answers, right? Piece of cake, okay? And so let's look at what da says. 길을 걸으면서 휴대폰을 보는 것은 아주 위험합니다. That's right. It is very dangerous to look at your phone while you are walking. Again, so now we have our main idea. And so between the rest of them, specifically between ka and na, we're going to be looking for ideas that support that, right? So let's take a look. It's dangerous, right? So we need to find the reason that it's dangerous. Let's look at ka first. 또한, all right, so kind of a little clue right away that this probably isn't going to be it, okay? 지나가는 사람과 부딪힐 수 있습니다, right? So this is giving a reason, but since we have 또한, we have also, we know that there must be another reason that was before this, right? We can't say also if there haven't been other reasons before this, okay? And so let's look at na just to make sure. 앞을 잘볼수 없기 때문에 넘어지기 쉽습니다, right? So if you're looking at your phone, your attention is entirely focused on that tiny little square, and so you're not watching in front of you, right? So you can run into other people, you could accidentally wander onto the street, I personally have run into doors and just kind of poles on the street, right? And so it's giving some good reasons for why it is dangerous, right? So we know that it's going to be ra, na, ta, ta. Okay? All right, let's try one more question. All right, how was our last one, right? All right, now they're getting a lot more practice in. I'm sure this one was a breeze for you, right? It may take a little bit of a time, but once you kind of just break it down and divide it into those little pieces, then it's really easy to solve these, right? All right, so what are we doing first? We are looking ka and na. All right, so that already eliminates these two as the first. So let's look at ka and na. Well, what is the first word for na? 그래서, so, therefore. Right? 
So we know it's not going to be na, so we know it's not going to be 3 or 4. All right, so now that we know ka is going to be the first sentence, let's take a look at it. What are we talking about in this paragraph? 우리나라는 태풍이 주로 여름철에 많이 발생합니다. All right, so we're talking about 태풍, right? 태풍, 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 all right? So 태풍 is in every sentence, all right? So this paragraph is going to be explaining what 태풍s are, right? So we know ka. So next, is it going to be ta or na? Well, let's look at na. 그래서 태풍이 올 때는 밖에 나가지 말고 집 안에 있는 것이 좋습니다. All right? So when there's a typhoon, it's better to be indoors than it is outdoors. All right, so do these two match up? Mm, not really. It doesn't say anything here about what um, typhoons do, like that they're dangerous, right? So that doesn't really give a reason for na. Let's check out, let's check out, um, let's check out ta, okay? 태풍은 아주 강한 바람을 말합니다. All right, so 태풍은, right, we might n not know what 태풍 is, so this is what 태풍 is, and then 라, 이러한 태풍이 불면 집이나 나무도 쓰러집니다, right? I don't know if you've been in Korea during uh, 태풍 season, but they can get really bad, especially if you're down in like Jeju or in Busan, you know, the south of the country, then like the streets flood, um, you know, Roofs get ripped off their buildings, and there's a lot of damage. It's just uh, a mess, all right? Not so bad in Seoul, though, right? We get a lot of rain in Seoul, but it's not too bad compared to Jeju or Busan, right? And so we know that our answer is going to be number one here. All right, and so we're going to be studying a lot of conjunctions for this one, right? All right, so you're going to want to know what all of these are. And you can come back and check those on your own time. And let's go through a final summary real quick, all right? So we're putting the sentences in order, right? You have the order, and you just have to kind of choose which one put them in the correct order, okay? And so what are we going to do? There are two steps, and it's very clear what we have to do here. So first, we're going to narrow down the answer just from the options, right? So we know that it's going to be one of two options because we're going to be able to tell right away what the first sentence is going to be, right? And then step two, remember the ordering clues to find the order, right? So back at the beginning of the class, about 10 minutes ago, we had three different clues that you could do the ordering for, right? So first, our first sentence is going to have a broad topic, and then it's going to have a specific topic or specific examples to support that topic, that idea, right? And then we're going to look for the flow of time, right? So we might have like 처음에는 지금은, or um, because of this, 그래서 this, or because of this, 그러나 this, right? And that's going to come into our conjunctions, right? Or this or that, 이 그저, or also in one of our examples we had things like 특히, right? An emphatic adverb, especially. So words like these are all clues that it's not going to be the first one, okay? All right, and so then how are we going to study for this? It's really all going to be in the conjunctions, right? So if you know your conjunctions, then it's just going to be a piece of cake, right? Know that flow of the sentence. All right, thank you all for listening to today's lesson as well. All right, we're starting to get into some more juicy topics, right? Some more difficult questions. And I'd like to thank you all for hanging in there and sticking with me for the rest of this topic course. All right, thank you and see you in the next lesson. 감사합니다. 당신을 위한 한국어 마스터, 마스터 토픽.